Here's a cross section of the carriage block. You can see that the tensioning happens here because there's teeth to grab onto the belt. To start out, make sure you've got your belt ran through the entire axis, meaning that it loops around both the motor and the bearing. Then you place this peg onto the free end, and this end gets pushed into the carriage block about a centimeter. So we place that in. And also it's important to make sure that you've got a little bit of free belt coming out of your peg because you're going to need to pull on that later to tension. Once you've got it in, you can go ahead and push in the peg and then you can pull the belt with a pair of needle nose pliers. Pull it reasonably tight and once you can't pull it straight what you can do is you can clamp on and you can kind of, in a rotating motion, pull the belt around. Now you want to have the belt to the point where you can strum it and it has an audible noise. At that point, you can take the other peg and go on this side and just kind of force it in. And that's all there is to it. Suppose you have to take the belt off. First, you want to take this free peg that doesn't have the belt going through it, and you want to use a flathead screwdriver, and you just place the screwdriver in between the block and the peg, and you pull it out as far as you can with that, and eventually you should be able to kind of wiggle it out with your fingers. And then, after you've got this peg out, you can come to the other side, the one that has the belt going through it, and you can use the same method, you can kind of take the screwdriver, the flathead, and pry it out as far as you can get it with the screwdriver. And then you can pull it the rest of the way out with your fingers.